Well, so now we're on day two of what we started yesterday. We did really just dealing with multiplication and how do we undo multiplication. At the end, we wrapped up a little bit of the division, but that's our focus today is really going to be more the division. <clears throat> we're going to start our warm up with looking at both of them again and hopefully just seeing what you recall. But we've got 23 times D. So how do you undo the times 23? You go ahead and divide by 23 over here. and You go ahead and divide by 23 over here. Why did I write 22? Okay, write 23 there. Draw your squiggly. We're going to get a new problem. We're going to get D by itself equals 23 divided by 9, or 2392. I believe that that is 100 and... Five. Okay. I didn't do my long division there. I just kind of knew that we're at 2,392. So I knew at least 123s will fit in there. And then I'm just looking at myself and saying, how many 23s will go into 92? Now that we're looking at it again, I'm realizing it's four. Okay. So let's see if that works. That's the answer we got. I did this division in my head, and maybe I'm wrong. So I'm going to do 23 times 104 and see if that equals 2,392. That's what I hope. So I'm going to write off to the side 104 times 23. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry that 1. 3 times 0 is 0. Drop down that 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Put a 0 in the place value. Now we're going to do 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 0 is 0, and then 2 times 1 is 1. So now we can add these up. 2, 9, 3, 1. What happened there? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong there? Oh, it was right here. This should, 2 times 1 is 2. So we should have 2,000. See, I did 2 times 1. For some reason, I wrote down a 1. It should have been 2. So it's 2,392. And we confirm that our answer is right. So now let's jump over to the other side. If we have division, what undoes division is multiplied. Now, a lot of times we're going to see this problem set up a little bit differently. We'll have y divided by 11 equals 987. We won't really see it with this kind of division. We'll see it with the division bar. And we can write, we're going to do a dot and multiply by 11 here. And we can do a dot and multiply by 11 here. I draw my squiggly. The 11s will cancel out and we'll just get y by itself. 987 times 11. Just for sake of time, and since you guys already probably calculated this, you get... 10,857. Take that, plug it back in, and see if it works. If I take 10,857 and I divide it by 11, I will indeed get 987. So I'll get 987 equals 987 to show that my answer worked.